Good morning and welcome to A Teachable Moment. Today we draw a little bit closer to home. Our subject for today is Bishop Henry Beard Delaney. He was born a slave on February 5th, 1858. His father, a carpenter, and his mother, a domestic servant. After the Civil War, they moved to Florida, where Delaney and his brothers learned how to be Masons. In 1881, he was sent to Raleigh, to St. Augustine's, to study theology. He graduated in 1885, joined the faculty, and taught there until 1908. St. Augustine's was founded to educate newly freed slaves in 1867 by Episcopal priests, notably the Reverend Albert Smeeds, founder of St. Mary's School for Girls, and the ancestor of our very own St. Michael's parishioners, Smeeds York, and Aldert Root Edmondson. Henry Delaney married another St. Augustine's faculty member, and they had ten children, including Sarah Louise and Annie Elizabeth, authors of Having Our Say, The Delaney Sisters' First Hundred Years. This is a great book, and many of you read it some years ago when it was a national bestseller. In 1889, Delaney was ordained a deacon and three years later a priest. In 1908, Bishop Cheshire appointed him priest in charge of ministry for black churches in North Carolina, and eventually he was made suffragan bishop or assisting bishop in 1918 for the purpose of working with black congregations. Delaney designed and headed the construction of the beautiful chapel at St. Augustine's in 1895. And that chapel is still the most beautiful building on that campus in downtown Raleigh. He died in 1928 in his home on the St. Augustine's campus. He is buried just south of town in the Mount Hope Cemetery. After his death, Bishop Cheshire said, he was a noble Christian bishop and a valiant soldier and servant of Christ. Several of Bishop Delaney's children went on to New York City to go to college. One of his sons went to New York University Law School. This son, Hubert Delaney, became an early leader of the Harlem Renaissance and was a prominent attorney. In 1959, Martin Luther King Jr. was arrested in Alabama and charged with failure to pay income tax. Hubert Delaney was hired out of New York to be Dr. King's lead defense attorney. Dr. King said, truth and conviction in the hands of a skillful advocate could make what started out as a bigoted prejudiced jury Choose the path of justice. Today we give thanks to God for Bishop Delaney and all the many doors he opened to a more just society and a better Episcopal Church in North Carolina and the country. Amen. Mm -hmm.